hello everybody welcome back thanks for joining me for this video this one today is stupid thieves caught on camera comes to us from be amazed and i am gonna guess this will be good okay time to press the play button in the movies, criminals are often portrayed as suave, sophisticated figures who rob banks and museums in tailored suits with high-tech gadgets. Unfortunately, the reality is a little bit less glamorous, and most thieves are considerably less intelligent than the characters we see on the silver screen. Today, we're going to find that out firsthand, checking out a police lineup of clumsy criminals, bumbling burglars, and moronic shoplifters, as we take a look at some seriously stupid thieves who were caught on camera. If you've ever watched a heist movie, you'll know that a successful robbery requires a few things. A ragtag crew of misfits, a montage sequence, and most importantly, the perfect escape vehicle. Unfortunately, this first stupid thief missed that memo. <laughs> After robbing a store and running into the parking lot, this dim-witted criminal took his eyes and hands off the prize by chucking his ill-gotten gains into the back of his open-top truck. Everybody loves a good chase sequence, but this one was a little anticlimactic as an employee casually jogged up to the truck, grabbed the stolen goods, and waltzed away, forcing the thief to drive off empty-handed. The criminal's terrible choice of getaway vehicle is pretty embarrassing, but incredibly, he isn't the only thief who was foiled by a pickup truck. Okay. That... That takes skill. Hands down, that takes skill to throw your shoplifted product right where somebody can grab it. And if the employee hadn't grabbed it, it probably would have fallen off onto the ground. All right, let's see what this truck's got us in for. <laughs> that is beautiful. Love it, love it. Believe it or not, this isn't a deleted scene from Home Alone, and the crafty homeowner behind this booby trap is Katie Camarena from Porterville, California, not Kevin McAllister. In the weeks prior to this video, Katie's neighborhood had been targeted by a gang of criminals who'd started sneaking up on people's driveways in the dead of the night and stealing tools out of their vehicles. Katie's motion-activated porch light didn't deter the criminals, and the police were of little help. So the Camarinas decided to take the law into their own hands. Unfortunately, these suburban vigilantes didn't actually don masks and weapons to clean up the mean streets of Porterville. Instead, they grabbed a motion-activated lawn sprinkler and rigged it up to their truck. The trap worked perfectly, and when this criminal pulled into the Camarina's driveway that evening, all the thief cycled away with was a face full of water. Well, I assume he was a thief. Hopefully that wasn't the local paperboy. Well, between that getaway fail and the cat burglar who was scared off by a spritz of water, which criminal did you think was dumber? For super stupid truck boy, hit the like button. And for cat cretin, hit subscribe. All done? Amazing. What clips of any see have we got next? So that criminal mm. didn't steal a single tool, but the Camarina's DIY booby trap definitely made him look like one. He shouldn't feel too bad, though. Some criminals don't need outside help to make themselves look stupid whilst committing their crimes. Walmart's <laughs> official slogan is save money, live better. And this criminal decided to heed their advice, saving himself a ton of cash by stealing from the store. As the dim-witted thief took his items with a five-finger discount, he wasn't too concerned with subtlety, shoving a giant box under his hoodie and hoping for the best as he stood in line. <laughs> 
There isn't much information about this criminal online, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say he probably got caught. Well, that was a pretty... Yeah, he probably did. Pathetic attempt at crime. Not every criminal is so inept. This thief is like a magician, able to lift up her dress and make an entire television disappear in the blink of an eye. The crime occurred in Guapeles, Costa Rica, Ugh. back in 2015. And I don't know why, but that just disgusts me, the way she did that. Although the woman looks pretty stupid squatting over the television box, the way that she holds it between her legs, covers it with her dress, and walks out of the store that naturally is undeniably impressive. I've heard people use the term as thick as thieves, but I didn't realize they were talking about their thighs. According to the local authorities, this woman was never identified or called by the police, so you might be wondering why I'm calling her stupid. Well, one, the camera was right there. Two, stop defending criminals. And three, look at what would have happened if she'd been caught. Vamos lá, vamos ver o que tava escondido aí. Vamos lá, vai tirando, vai tirando, tira tudo. Vai lá. Que bonito, hein? These two women from Brazil tried to emulate our favorite Costa Rican criminal, but unfortunately, they didn't have the thigh strength to pull off the job. The thieves reportedly grabbed a number of toiletries from the Aye. store before stuffing them in their underwear and attempting to walk out without paying. Fortunately, they were caught with their pants down as the eagle-eyed shopkeeper spotted what they were doing and forced them to lift up their dresses, revealing their stolen booty. I'm glad the shopkeeper caught the thieves, but I really hope they didn't put those products back on the shelves without giving them a deep, deep clean first. Yeah. It turns out this method of shoplifting <laughs> is pretty common, although some criminals are more creative than others. They say that beauty is pain, mm. but when this criminal chose to steal a top from this clothing store, I don't think she anticipated quite how painfully embarrassing it would be when she got caught. This shoplifter is a little bit craftier than those Brazilians, boasting a pair of customized shorts with a built-in pouch that allowed her to hide her stolen goods like a criminal kangaroo. <laughs> Unfortunately, she got all dressed up for nothing, and after being caught by a shopping attendant, she was forced to stand and wait as they lifted up her dress and exposed her crimes to the rest of the store. The way that that criminal was exposed was pretty embarrassing, but at least she put some thought into her robbery. The same can't be said for this next thief. Okay. Her customized shorts or underwear, whatever that was, a little more sanitary than what the previous girls were doing, so we'll give her credit for that. As this Australian teenager placed a crate full of alcohol on this store's counter and sidled up to the automatic doors, he thought he'd orchestrated the perfect crime. The thief planned to snatch the booze and run straight out of the store before anyone had time to react, but unfortunately, the shopkeeper was one step ahead of him. The shopkeeper had noticed the teen's shifty behavior, prompting him to casually reach to his left and use a wireless key fob to lock the store's doors right at the beginning of the video. As a result, when the kid tried to grab the drinks and run, he found himself trapped inside the store. He'd attempted to steal some pre-mixed Jack Daniels and Coke, but thanks to that shopkeeper's quick mm. thinking, the kid ended up with Jack, forcing him to awkwardly search for cash in his pockets and have the world's most embarrassing conversation with the man he just tried to rob. Let's move from petty thieves and shoplifters to a criminal mm. who tried to steal something a bit more substantial. Is he really going to try to get it onto that bus? Mm. 
Wouldn't surprise me if he does. Gotta give him props for trying, maybe. <laughs> Yo, well. This thief from New Jersey no. was skilled enough to steal an entire ATM, but unfortunately, he'd forgotten to hire a getaway driver. <laughs> With no way of getting the ATM home, he decided to turn to public transport, lugging the machine up to a bus and asking the driver for a ride. I don't know how much bus drivers earn in New Jersey, but this one is clearly happy with his salary because he closed the doors and left the criminal stranded on the side of the road. This video was absolutely hilarious, but it was originally uploaded by internet comedian and influencer Darius DK, so unfortunately, there's a good chance that this is actually a staged prank. I hope so. I don't think anybody could be really that, that stupid. At least, I hope not. I hope they could. Yeah. This, I think this is a prank. Even if the ATM robbery is fake, there are equally shocking examples of mm. real criminals getting stuck in sticky situations. This video from Andhra Pradesh, India, shows the moment that a burglar was discovered calling for help after getting stuck in a hole in the side of a temple. The thief had reportedly broken into the temple through a small ventilation window before filling his pockets with holy ornaments made out of silver. Then when the criminal tried to climb back out through the hole, he got stuck, left hanging out of the wall as his legs kicked around inside. Talk about karma. <laughs> after struggling for a while, the thief was forced to shout for help, alerting some passers-by. Unsurprisingly, these locals weren't particularly understanding, and instead of helping the criminal escape, they filmed him and called the police. I'm not sure how long the thief was stuck in the wall for, but something tells me he'll be stuck behind bars for a little bit longer. The footage of the criminal is pretty damning, but still, it could be worse. At least he wasn't literally caught with his pants down. This criminal True. from Tucson, Arizona found himself in one of the most incriminating <laughs> positions in the world, as he was caught hanging upside down on the fence of an elementary school with his pants around his ankles. According to an eyewitness, the criminal climbed and slipped off the fence of Miles Elementary School in an attempted break-in. Apparently, as the criminal fell off the fence, his baggy mm. pants got caught on its spikes, leaving him hanging by his ankles with his tidy whities on show. <laughs> Haven't we, we meaning adults, been telling the kids to pull their pants up and get pants that fit? I mean, if they did that... This might not have happened. The cops soon arrived on the scene, helping the criminal down from the fence before cuffing him and placing him in another tricky position, the back of a police car. It still isn't clear why the man was attempting to break into an elementary school. Maybe he was there for, I don't know, coloring books? No, being that stupid, I doubt he even has the capacity to color inside the lines. That guy found himself in a pretty embarrassing situation, but he isn't the only criminal who was caught hanging upside down. This thief in England was found hanging by his shoelaces after attempting to break through a window and burgle a house in Dartford, Kent. According to the local hmm. police, as the burglar tried to climb through the broken window, he managed to slip over while simultaneously getting his shoe and shoelaces trapped in the window frame. The criminal was left hanging upside down for over an hour as a crowd of 30 passers-by gathered to watch the commotion and mock him. Okay, as if it's not bad enough to find yourself in that situation. But then to have people standing around mocking you? 
How demeaning. How rude. When the homeowner got back from work, the burglar reportedly begged to be let down, but unsurprisingly, the homeowner called the cops instead. This next criminal encountered a similar problem whilst breaking and entering. I was wondering if it would ever occur to him to take the backpack off. He might want to put his coffee down too. It would probably make things easier if he could use both hands. This footage shows the moment that a criminal from Melbourne, Australia attempted to break into a bookstore. As the burglar's backpack gets caught in the store's door, he struggles with it for a considerable amount of time, pulling with all of his strength, before realizing he can just take it off. Despite robbing a bookstore, this thief clearly lacks the brain cells to be able to read. However, against all odds, the criminal was somehow successful, and he was later recorded exiting the store with their safe lugging the heavy container down the road. Well, he got away with the goods, though I'd argue the video of his slapstick break-in is worth ten times whatever was in the safe. <laughs> All those felons fell at the first hurdle. However, even when thieves make it inside the place they're robbing, there's still plenty that can go wrong. Yeah, I really shouldn't laugh because if you've got motion detectors, they will still sometimes miss somebody slithering on the floor. Um, kind of have a little bit of personal experience with that one. Now I know what you're thinking. The new Mission Impossible looks really low budget. Well, in reality, this security footage comes from Australia, not Hollywood. And it shows the moment that a suburban home was burgled by a criminal known as the Brighton Crawler. That nickname sounds pretty terrifying, but when you watch this bumbling criminal drag his belly across the ground, it's kind of hard to be intimidated. When the crawler first broke into the home, he actually managed to notice the security cameras, prompting him to stop, drop, and crawl out of sight. This display of intelligence was pretty short-lived, and as he tried to crawl across the floor to avoid being seen, he accidentally shuffled his way into view. If that wasn't stupid enough, the crawler then turned and stared straight at the camera, giving the cops a clear look at his face. According to the- Oh, not really a clear look at his face. He's wearing sunglasses and a mask kind of makes it harder to tell what he looks like. The police, the crawler attempted to steal two safes from the home, but when a neighbor came to investigate the disturbance, he ran away and climbed over the garden fence, escaping empty-handed. Unfortunately, the police haven't been able to identify or track down the criminal, so as of now, the Brighton crawler is still at large, slithering around the streets of Australia in search of a new house to unsuccessfully rob. The home security cameras got a pretty good look at the crawler's face, so he's incredibly lucky that the police weren't able to identify him. Committing a crime like that without wearing a mask seems pretty dumb, but then again... It he was wearing a mask. It just happened to be more or less flesh-toned. And more of the quarantine variety. Although, you have to give him credit. If this was during the lockdowns, as I recall, Australia had some pretty strict rules about wearing your mask. So at least he wasn't breaking that law. 
Disguise doesn't always make a criminal harder to track down. When this criminal from Belleville, Illinois decided to hold up a gas station, he had the bright idea of wearing a mask. Unfortunately, his choice in disguise left a lot to be desired, as he walked into the store and robbed the mm. cashier with a see-through plastic bag over his head. The criminal only stole $60 from the gas station, but to be fair, that was probably all he could carry. It's not like he could use the bag he brought. Unsurprisingly, when this CCTV footage was shared with the police, it didn't take them long to identify the criminal and arrest him, and he was later sentenced to 15 years in prison for the robbery and a string of previous offenses. The plastic bag bandit is pretty dumb, but he has some competition. These shoplifters were caught on camera stealing alcohol from a convenience store in Louisa, Virginia, while donning two carved out watermelons fitted with eye holes. It isn't clear why the melon-headed criminals decided to don these makeshift melon masks, but it didn't take long for the Louisa Police Department to identify one of them as 20-year-old Justin Rogers. Justin was charged with larceny, and while the police didn't explain how they tracked him down, if I had to guess, I'd say they probably used their own melons. <laughs> Let's move from shoplifting to white-collar crime as we check out the story of an independent contractor who had to pay $563 in damages and serve two years of probation after attempting to defraud the company he was working for. Okay, that is just so bad. And stupid. No. This is Alexander Goldensky, an independent contractor who decided to have a change in career, trying his hand at acting and insurance fraud at the same time. In this video, Alexander clearly pours a cup of ice on the floor before stepping on a cube and pretending to slip over. After the video ends, the fraudster reportedly rolled around on the floor for a while until one of his colleagues found him and called an ambulance. After being taken to the hospital, Alexander filed a large insurance claim against the company, asking them to pay for his ambulance ride and the supposedly expensive treatment he received for his non-existent injuries. The company were happy to pay, but first they had to conduct an investigation into the incident. An investigation that uncovered this damning surveillance footage. The embarrassing video incriminated Alexander immediately, and instead of receiving a big insurance payout, he was forced to pay $563 in restitution to the insurance firm, serve two years of probation, and undergo 14 hours of community service. All in all, Alexander's mm. career as a fraudster didn't work out, and he's unlikely to get hired as an independent contractor ever again. True. However, if I was him, I'd try and find myself an agent and book some auditions. With acting chops like this, he was clearly born to be on the silver screen, not the floor. Watching Alexander shamelessly steal from work is pretty disheartening. However, not all criminals are so dishonest. Some of them genuinely love good old-fashioned hard work. This criminal is either the stupidest or the most thoughtful thief in the world. Because after stealing a lawnmower from a house in Port Arthur, Texas, he decided to do some yard work, heading out into the garden and mowing the homeowner's lawn. When the police arrived, the crook reportedly ran away from the cops, dragging the lawnmower behind him. Unfortunately, the weight of the lawnmower was too cumbersome, prompting him to ditch it in an alleyway before making his escape. The police used the security camera to identify the thief as a local criminal called Marcus Hubbard. However, they weren't able to track Marcus down, and they're reportedly still looking for his whereabouts. If you ask me, even if the cops do find Marcus, the real winner in all of this is the homeowner. After all, they got their lawnmower back and their lawn mowed for free. <laughs> Sounds like a win-win to me. Marcus managed to get away from the cops, but not all criminals are lucky enough to evade arrest. 
Back in 2017, John Bell from Houston, Texas tried to rob a cell phone store, storming in with a gun and demanding that the shopkeeper empty the cash register. Unfortunately, he was immediately outsmarted by both the shopkeeper and her customers as they quickly rushed out of the store and locked the door behind them. At this moment, John became the hostage as he was stuck inside the store with no way of getting out. Most thieves want to break into places, but over the next eight minutes, John did everything he could to get out of the building, <laughs> desperately kicking and ramming the door in futile attempts to break through the glass and steel bars. Unfortunately, he was as skinny as he was stupid, and after a few minutes of prying and begging passersby to let him out, the police arrived, arresting the criminal before later sentencing him to five years in jail. Although technically, he'd already served eight minutes. Now, this next thief's breaking and entering skills are more efficient than stupid. However, the target of his burglary makes him look pretty dumb after he put in all that effort to steal a Mickey Mouse toy from a piano store. I've heard of a cat burglar, but this thief's interest in plush mice is pretty confusing. Nobody's sure why the criminal stole such a worthless item, but hey, thieves are people too. Maybe he just gets lonely at night. The thief was never identified, but luckily a local charity bought the store a new Mickey Mouse toy for the window and threw in a plush Minnie Mouse as an added bonus. That's a nice gesture, or should I say, a mice gesture. <laughs> yeah, I'll see myself out for that one. I'm not sure why a thief would steal a plush toy, but this next criminal has a much clearer motive for his crime. Hunger. <laughs> this criminal gave a new definition to Did the term red-handed after attempting to steal a rack of lamb meat from a kebab restaurant. Unfortunately for the thief, these rotating skewers are super heated to cook the lamb meat and keep it warm throughout the night, a fact that he only learned after grabbing the metal. The thief's eyes were bigger than his stomach and his pain tolerance <laughs> as the heat forced him to flee the shop with nothing but burnt hands and a bruised ego. Don't get me wrong, stealing food from a restaurant is pretty immoral behavior, but do you know what's even worse? Being a quitter. That bandit's lack of commitment to his crime is disappointing to see, but to be fair, he isn't the only criminal who gave up at the first hurdle. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, gotta when love this porch the pirate from Tacoma, Washington decided to steal this package, he saw it as a way to make himself some easy cash. Little did he know this house was far from an easy target, and he'd accidentally stumbled upon the home of Jeremy Barrow, the creator of an anti-porch pirate booby trap called The Blank Box. The Blank Box's story starts back in 2017 when Jeremy's packages were getting mm. repeatedly stolen by porch pirates. Jeremy decided to get some revenge on the thieves, so he constructed a fake package out of blank shotgun shells and fishing wire that lets out a flash and a bang when lifted. As you can see, Jeremy's so-called blank box was pretty effective at deterring porch pirates, and before long, every criminal who tried to rob Jeremy was sent running away, sprawling across his front yard in fear. The gadget worked so well that he started selling them, setting up an online store to help other people with a porch pirate problem. Instead of spending a ton of money on advertising, all Jeremy had to do to sell the product was buy a porch camera, set up a YouTube channel, and expose every thief who tried to steal his packages, <laughs> showing how effective the blank box is at keeping his delivery safe. Exposing mm. all those porch pirates online must be pretty satisfying for Jeremy. However, I'm not sure he should bother going to all the effort because sometimes the stupidest criminals expose themselves. Back in 2012, Hannah Sabata from Waco, Texas decided to go on a crime spree, robbing $6,000 from a bank at gunpoint and stealing a Pontiac Grand Am. By all accounts, the 19-year-old had gotten away with her crimes after successfully evading the cops and making it back home. Unfortunately, instead of lying low and enjoying her newfound wealth, Hannah decided to pull out her camera and make a YouTube video. In this grainy, glitchy video, Hannah boasts about her crimes in great detail while showing her ill-gotten gains off to the camera. 
As you can imagine, it didn't take long for the police to see the video, and they arrested <laughs> Hannah the same day that it was uploaded. With this online confession, the case was open and shut, and Hannah was later sentenced to 10 to 20 years in prison for her crime spree. So her life as a teenager and her career as a YouTuber came to an abrupt end. Uploading your own confession onto YouTube is pretty stupid, but it could be worse. Back in 2017, a burglar called Jesse Baruby one-upped Hannah and okay. established himself as one of the, the dumbest criminals of all time. Suspicious. After calling 911 on himself. In December 2017, Jesse decided to channel his inner Santa Claus as he attempted to burglarize a business in Citrus Heights, California by climbing down their chimney. Now, Santa's had a lot of practice climbing down chimneys over the years, but unfortunately, this was Jesse's first time. As he reached the bottom of the chimney, he got stuck. Jesse tried to wiggle his way out of the tight, dark space, but eventually, he accepted his fate, reaching into his pockets and dialing 911 for help. Presumably, the local police spent a good few minutes laughing at Jesse over the phone before heading to the scene and discovering him trapped in the chimney completely covered in soot. After another bout of laughing, the cops rescued him from the hole, pulling him to safety and charging him with one count of burglary. Jesse might be one of the only criminals to have called the cops on himself. Then he better watch his back in prison. Nobody there likes snitches. Not even the ones who snitch on themselves. <laughs> Well, with that, our police lineup is complete, as we've explored an entire prison's mm. worth of criminals that are all guilty of being absolute idiots. Which of our bumbling burglars and stupid shoplifters did you think was the dumbest? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for watching. Okay, that was very interesting. <laughs> All right, so yes, those were some very stupid thieves. But I do like the one who called the cops on himself. That was very polite and uh, respectful. Right? I mean, it was at least helpful. So, that being said, and this video being over, it's time to wrap it up with a quick little like comment subscribe and check out my patreon check out the merch shop and yeah i'll come back now you hear <laughs> i'll see you next time bye bye